Greetings, Souls Wind here, and welcome to Let's Play QB Factorium. Before we proceed with the tutorials, I'd like to highlight that there's been some updates. You can see here, the version is now 350. The previous episodes were recorded in version 344. There were also updates to the tutorials. However, we will only revisit the tutorials after covering all the tutorials that we have not covered yet. Now, we are going with tutorial 14, rather it's an example, the train network. Learn to use signals to operate multiple trains in a circular network. Build a train using the train factory and add the two stations to its schedule. We've seen enough of the green train, so let's try the blue or grey train. Right click on these. Build another train using the train factory and add the two stations to its schedule. Select the factory, it's all greyed out, until the train leaves the signal. Add and go. I'm using all grey trains because it's the same rail network. Build another train using the train factory and add the two stations to its schedule. If we have different trains here, that might cause a problem because some will be faster and some will be slower. Build the final train using the train factory and add the two stations to its schedule. Oops. There, we can now leave the island. But before that, let's speed up the game and let's see how the trains move around. Now let's zoom in and take a look at the signals. So it turns green here for it to go and the next one is red so it will tell the train to slow down and then the train comes to a stop at the signal then this signal gets cleared and this train continues so there's going to be some blocking here and there because this train will be waiting for this one to clear this signal well, this train will be here waiting for this because this train is still here and this is going to go here and then eventually this train will get stuck. No, okay, it can come to here but then it will get stuck until this train moves all the way to this signal. Now let's leave the island. We move on to the next tutorial. Train signals learn how to use pre-signals to prevent trains from blocking junctions. Build a train using the train factory and add the two stations to its schedule. Now let's try the red train. Two and three. Oops, when I click on here it goes to the campfire. Right click. Build another train using the train factory and add the two schedules and add the two stations. Yeah, I click here again, it highlights the campfire. I should get used to right clicking. Build another train using the train factory and add the two stations to each schedule. So we have to wait for this train to exit and then add one more. Here. Now let's zoom in and take a look. This train waits here because this train is told to leave and this is red so it doesn't even make an effort to move at all until this turns green upon which this will move. Now we built the final train 
and at the two stations again. So this train goes here into here and then this train waits for its turn which probably will not come in so soon because this is total leave first which is right because the trains at the stations are more important and they should be the ones taking the priority. Hopefully it's this next. No, it's not. Well, that's fine. It's okay because this one can take the next. So this should be the last priority and that's good enough. So we can see pre-signals and whatnot helping to arrange multiple trains on a back and forth train track. Instead of a loop and whatnot, we now have two parallel tracks that allows more trains on the track. Let's speed this up a little bit. The signals turn orange for them to cross a junction. And it seems like the priority is given to trains leaving the station followed by trains entering the station from the main line and the turns take a lesser priority but i might be mistaken okay now let's observe this again so there's like green there and then these are red Now that's orange, 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 and this is red. So this red means that you cannot move into here. Now this is green, so you can leave. Well, that one comes over here, and it is green here, but it's red there. So this takes the priority. All right. Let's leave the island. And that's it for this tutorial. We've seen how we can use signals to support multiple trains on a singular train network. Furthermore, we can use pre-signals to let several trains run on parallel tracks back and forth and add more efficiency to our resource usage as well as the logistics system. Thank you for watching, that's all I have for now, have a nice day.